Hey guys, welcome back to Rose and Curls. I hate sounding so professional. Hey guys, welcome back to Rose and Curls. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. All right, guys, so today is gonna be, you know, a, just a little bit different. So I wanna thank Anna Luisa so much for sponsoring this part of the video. So they are having a sale, and I just wanted to put y'all on. So y'all already know about this necklace that I have right here. Y'all y'all already seen it. They're tarnish-free, waterproof. They're made with recyclable items. They just give it a luxury for the little. Decided to try their air cuffs this time. So you guys know my ears are not paired. These are my three new pieces that I added to my collection and what I really love is that all three ear cuffs pair very well with three necklaces that I got. So I got this simple ear cuff and it's in silver. It also comes in gold. And it's stackable, it pairs really well with their other Anna Luisa pieces. Let's see what's next. <laughs> it's a unique crisscross design and it just gives like a cute little accent. It is stackable, as I said, with all their other pieces. Pairs so well with forget-me-nots. Cuffs are just matching with my necklaces. I just really like that. Like, ooh. And then last but not least, I got Billy. So Billy is so pretty because it's gold with like silver gems. And I feel like this will pair so perfectly for like a date night or an event, like a wedding or a banquet or a gala, like whatever you're going to. What I like about this one is that you can either wear it up, it's giving like an edgy look, or you can kind of like put it down. Guys, I know my ear is red. And it pairs so well with Vita. Like y'all know how I feel about Vita. I have Vita on in my get ready with me. It's just a nice, simple, dainty gold necklace with a little bit of silver gems in the V and tell me that's not a perfect match. It's such a perfect match. Oh my goodness. I absolutely like that. I love it. So it would definitely pop more with a different outfit. Get in the car and I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. I start taking everything off. I start taking off my jewelry, my watch, my necklace, everything. And I put it in my bag. But what I love about these Ana Luisa pouches is that you can put your jewelry in them so it doesn't get lost. And then you can put this bad boy in your purse. If you're interested, don't walk, run. There's a sale. All you have to do is use my code ROSENCURLS20 to get 20% off. Now that we did our little housekeeping, we're gonna get into what y'all came for. I'm gonna show y'all all the luxury bags that I have that is black owned and that is affordable. And I think you're gonna like what I got. So let's get into this video. All right, so first up, y'all already know what these are, right? I can't believe I bought two of these. Cause first of all, I thought I would never buy one of these. Just like, mm. but, but these joints fit so much, so much. All right, so let me just get into it. First things first, I love the duster bag. Giving quality and I like the fact that they have. The logo here on the front, they have really good drawstring. I keep the bags in the duster bag. Yeah, at all times. Anyways, not me happy. This is how it came. It came with like the Velcro holder for the straps. So I still keep that on there. Um, the neat thing about this is it has two straps for a crossbody, and then it has two handles for, to hold the bag. So not only does it have a button in here, it's also magnetic. Excuse my nails. It has the logo on the inside, and the logo, I'm telling you guys, like this logo is not giving cheap. Wait, hold a second guys. The logo, first of all, I just realized that this is a little pocket. Like you can low key put your jewelry in there. I took this bat purse with me to the Marine Museum in VA and I'm going to post a video of how that went. Woo, that was an experience. And I was shocked how many things I could fit into this bag. I had my hand sanitizer, my lip balm, my wallet, my boyfriend's wallet, his house keys, my phone, my AirPods, and my knee sleeves and then the map of the place. It was a lot and I just felt like I just kept putting stuff in there and it was fitting. Um, the it, the button wasn't closing but it still was fitting like nothing was bulging out. So 
yeah, I was really shocked. So don't sleep on how small this is. It does hold a lot of things. One thing I do wish was I got this color in the medium size. I just feel like I would have, I would get more wear out of it. This bag is going for $150. Not, not a bad price. Just found a hidden secret compartment in there. I had no idea it was in there. And it's made in New York. Everyday bag for everyone. One that I really, really, really wanted to go for was this cobalt blue. I've been eating for this color. Guys, do you see that? Oh my goodness. So happy I was able to get this. So this one I purchased during the purity bag, the last and final one that he had. A lot of people complain about how long it takes. I think I got my bag in like three weeks. Love the color, can't wait to style it, can't wait to use it as an accent color. And um, yeah, these bags hold way more than you think they do. If I do get another one, I'll probably get the medium size. If you have a Telfar bag, comment below which color you have and what size. I feel like it was worth the price. I wish I got one, but it's okay. We have what we have. Maybe I might give the next one away or sell the next one, who knows. So that's Telfar. Let's the next the brand that I have is Shop Vani. So just to give a quick background story, the owner of this brand is someone who I went to high school with and she came up this brand because she was in nursing school, I believe, and just the bags that she carried around, around just didn't really serve a good purpose. So she tried to create a nice affordable luxury bag um, that she can use for work and for stylish. Her name is Giovanni and she made her brand Shop Vani. Just really excited for her, like I'm so proud of her and I just, I personally love these bags. So I definitely had to support. I've been watching these bags and I said, yo, they are fire. I have to be a part. Look at her, guys. Look at her. Oh my goodness absolutely love her she can be a cross body the straps can adjust and also hold her like so all of her bags are vegan leather oh look at the details of that oh it got a little boo-boo but one thing that's good about the bags is like it's easy to clean you could just wipe it down so I didn't even realize that this bag has a compartment back here, right? So it has lots of compartments. It has one right there. It has one right here in the front, which is so convenient. Um, it has two parts in, two compartments and a zipper in the middle. And this zipper is so good for your personal items, your, um, your menstrual items, I love that. Um, it has like a little zipper back here and there's a mask in there. I always have a mask in there and it has another compartment right here. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This bag has seven different compartments and look at that color. Closure is magnet. Yep. One thing I really like is how the chain gun metal, is that what they would call it? It's not silver, it's kind of like a dark gray. So yeah, I just love the hardware on this. Oh my goodness, guys, I love this bag. Love this bag. This is Riley and she's Emerald. This bag goes for $100. Um, when I originally bought it, I had, it was discounted. They don't have emerald anymore, but they do have cream, baby blue, and maroon. Guys, that maroon, I couldn't, I had a hard time des deciding if I wanted emerald or maroon, but yeah. And Riley comes in a black duster. If it comes in a duster bag, it's gonna stay in a duster bag. Next shot, Vani, is from her nude collection, and this is the newest collection. Um, I got the mini. This color is beige. It does have a crossbody, which you can take off. And then you have your two straps. It has gold V charm. I love that her bags just say Vani on there. It's also a Vani detail on the zipper. So it does have a top zip. And what I like is that does carry a good amount of stuff. My camera does not fit in here, but that's okay. Everything else that I carry in my bag fits with a good amount of space left in there. So it does have a small flap right here, and it has a zipper pocket in here, and then this whole, the bag is like, you know, pretty deep. 
I love about this bag is when I open it, there I can see everything that I need. I love that it pairs so well with my nude sandals and my nude heels and it just complements any brown or any neutral outfit that I have going on. All her bags are vegan leather. And it, well, this one comes in a duster as well. This duster is a little bit more on the thin side. I wish it was like the black one, but nonetheless, it's a duster bag and we get to protect our purses from getting dusty. Okay, <laughs> this purse is giving simple, is giving chic and casual, classy, sophisticated, like the, it's just going on and on. And then I did show this purse in my previous get ready with me. So if you wanna go over there and take a peek, go ahead and check it out. And this bag goes for $210. This is the mini, there's a medium size and there is a large and don't quote me, but there is five different color nudes. Is it five or is it four? Five or four, go check the map. You want a brown, you want a tan, you want a nude, you want a cream. Okay, let's move on to the next. The next purse I'm gonna show you was a hard buy. Brandon Blackwood. He has so many different types of purses, so many colors, so many types of material. I just don't know which one to pick. I like them all and I decided to go with something so outside my comfort zone. I was stressed like, how am I gonna sell this? I jumped on the sale that they had the other day. Ooh, I already see a peek. Let's open her up. Let's open her up. <laughs> Baby. I used it the other day, I wore it to the Beyonce concert, which was a bad idea, because she is not the mini. They had to lock her up in a locker. I'm so sorry I did that to you. So it's metallic green cracked leather. The cracked green is sold out, but if you go on the website, you can get it in the orange, which looks just as nice. And then as far as the mini, you could still get the metallic color, but it just wouldn't be the cracked blood leather. So those are what is available online. Originally, the bag was $300, but because I bought it on the sale, I caught it for $150. Can't go wrong. Technically, because I caught it for the sale, half off, I should've bought two. But people was buying up the bags like crazy. You blinked your eye, and the bag you wanted was gone. You slow, you snooze, you lose. All the hardware is silver. The B, look at the detail in the B. The uh, Brandon Blackwood sign is silver. The little footing of the purse is also silver. And low key, like, I can see myself in it. It's a blur. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to style her some more. I'm gonna insert a picture of how I looked at the Beyonce concert. Y'all see that? You can either have the straps on or you can take the straps off. Don't have to attach the crossbody strap right here. I love that there is a separate um, loop for it. She's Louise, she's sturdy. It's hard to get these loops on. I do wish that the strap could just be a little bit more on the wider side. The strap kind of gives me, mm, I just know that I won't be really using it. <laughs> Giving a little bit on the cheap side. That's me. Comment below if you got an issue with the Brandon Blackwood strap. Personally, wouldn't wear it with the strap. I wouldn't. Unless I'm gonna like, like I'm taking a picture and I kinda wanna wrap it in a cute way. I don't know, like you're doing some type of pose. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot to point out that right here is a B. Like how cool is that? Right? Inside is suede. I thought it was gonna be an issue that the bag doesn't open up all the way that I can't see, but I like that it doesn't do that because what if I open it and all my stuff that's in it falls out? So I like that and I thought it was gonna be hard for me to get what I needed to get out of my purse, but that was not an issue. So I do like how wide it opens up. There's a label in here that says Brandon Blackwood and it's the same color as the purse. This is called a Kendrick trunk. It's made with cowhide leather, so it ain't vegan, a hundred percent. What I really love about this guy is he took a chance. I don't know if y'all ever heard his story, but where you go to get bags, they make like large stocks of them. But he told them that he wanted a sample. <laughs> he got the bag and never went and ordered a large amount. Well, people kept complimenting him on the bag and everywhere he went, he tried to show the bag to like, like big time superstars and they all said they liked it. And I think somebody said, yo, you should take the chance and you should order um, like a large stock. Around the time that he wanted to do that, I hope I'm getting his story right, COVID happened and he felt the Black Lives Matter movement was like going heavy. He felt bad like producing purses 
or bags during that time. So that's when he came out with the end systematic racism bag, which I really want that burnt orange, but it's sold out. So he sent a, a lot of pictures and slid in a lot of DMs, but no one answered him. Kim Kardashian answered him. I know y'all don't like her. I like her. She answered him, she posted, boom. His stuff just went off and it kicked off, like heavy. I love his story, I love what he's about, and I love this bag. If you have a brand new Blackwood bag, please comment below. Tell me which bag you got, what color, what you love about it. Let's talk in the comments, like come talk to me in the comments, I don't bite, I can't. It's virtual. Let's go to the next bag. So my next bag, which, oh my goodness, I could not wait to get this bag. Like, oh, I also want to support a black owned brand. So I've been eyeing this bag. I needed a travel bag and I also needed a bag for when I go do my content days. Like content day, I love it because I can literally open it and see everything that I need. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I got the totes. I got the toe, and when I say I am in love, I am in love. Like Guys, look at the details on this bag, right? And everybody knows there are so many brands that have this bag, but I decided to go with Glamaholic, okay? It's a perfect overnight bag, everyday bag, but as I told you, I use it for travel when I'm going to New York. Um, it's perfect for when I'm going to church on Saturdays, when I'm not finished my makeup, I have my heels and my flats, all of that, I just throw it in here. Um, I wish she would sell bag organizers, that would be cool, but I'm gonna buy one of like the cosmetic bags so I can put like whatever small things that I have. But so far, I haven't really needed one because I feel like this zipper part right here is big enough for me to put my hand sanitizer, my glasses cleaner, um, my lip balm and everything. Then there is another one where I like to put my AirPods and whatever little cords I have. And then there's a bigger one where I put my wallet. Um, this, I feel like this has multiple uses. You can close the bag, right? And you can clip your keys on there too. So I really love how big it is. There is adjustable straps on the side. The straps, amazing. The one thing I don't like is when I put my laptop in here along with my water bottle, it does put a lot of weight and pressure on my shoulder, but I can hold it, hold it like this down at my side. Um, but yeah, this bag, I bought it with a purpose and it serves its purpose and I'm so grateful. Ooh. I am so grateful. Also vegan leather, so if you're a vegan, there you go. Has the matte G's, the logos all over it. Um, it does come in a lot of different colors. Right now this specific color is sold out, but you can get it in pink and you can get it in the mirror black, which is like the patent leather. So this bag is going for $95. Um, if you sign up for the first time, you can get a code. I think it's like a 15% code, like first time purchase. Um, yeah, and this bag came really quick. The duster, I don't like pink, but this duster goes hard. I never put her away without her duster bag. She slid right up in there. So I'm so happy to finally be a part of the Glamaholic gang. So all the purses will be linked down below. So if you have any of these bags, please let me know what color, what style, Let's talk in the comments. And if you have some other black affordable luxury brands that I should look into, please comment them below too. Cause like guys, don't be selfish. Y'all already know, I be telling y'all don't be selfish. Thank you so much for coming back. Like I really, 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 really appreciate y'all support. And it's only gonna go up from here. We got lights. We're hooked up to the iPad. Shorty's not going out of focus. Shorty's not going out of focus. Shorty's not going out of focus. It's like, do this. The more we get better, it's only up from here. I really hope this information was helpful. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Sincerely, black-owned affordable luxury bags. Bye, guys.